Hey, what's going on guys? It is Celeb, and as you can see, I am here with the PlayStation 4 Elder Scrolls Tamriel Unlimited Collector's Edition. The Imperial Edition, I apologize. Now, uh, <laughs> my GoPro would not charge uh, in time. Um, it was not charged at all. I did not know this before making this video, so I had to do it with my new Galaxy Note 4, uh, which the quality should be pretty good, um, but we're going to go ahead and get down into this unboxing. Now, as you guys can see, here's the back of the case. The fight for Tamriel begins set a thousand years before the events of Skyrim, three alliances, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, here's the Imperial Edition. It includes Moloch Ball statue, also improved Imperial Guide for Tamriel, and a premium Tamriel map. Now you can see right there, I have my own little burned version of the map of the Providence of Skyrim. Uh, and uh, I love Skyrim. Skyrim is one of my favorite games. I have the Elder Scrolls anthology right there. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the middle of this package. Now I'm going to be pausing uh, back and forth because of the way I have this set up. And I hope that's okay for you guys. Hopefully uh, not many of you will get too upset that I have to keep pausing the video on and off. But either way, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, here we go. We got the Tamriel Imperial Edition. Ooh, man. Man. Look at that. Look at that. You see all these dust particles flying by? I apologize about that. There's the Moloch Ball statue. Looks pretty freaking awesome. Get a little bit closer, see if I can get some good detail on that. This camera is actually doing really well. I may start doing my unboxing videos with my with my phone more often. And then we have the Imperial Edition of Elder Scrolls Online. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. Cha cha ha. Man, he looks like a total crepe right there. Oh, my stuff fell. <laughs> So we have the Imperial Edition unlock codes right there. Uh, well, it's kind of, you can see it. It's just a little bright. Mudcrab plays an Imperial Rings of Mara and a white Imperial horse. So I'm not going to show you guys that code. Expand your adventures with crowns. Crowns are virtual currency. You can actually get uh, different suits and so on and so forth, which we did actually in the Elder Scrolls beta. Um, and we'll be signing up for the premium ESO Plus membership as well, uh, which will get us a monthly allowance of 1,500 crowns. Now here's just the regular booklet right here. And here is the map. Let me pull this out. And let me get it let me get a little expanded for you guys all right let's see if I can there we go we got all of Tamriel and a really awesome map now to be honest with with us getting this Imperial Edition uh, I do not like the fact that it is a uh, kind of a uh, I don't know exactly the material I guess a uh, just a regular poster material I really wanted this style of material, uh, the paper, uh, and it, I, man, I really wish they would have done a map like that because I think it would have even, even given it a better, uh, better feel of realism. Uh, that's the one thing I liked about this map. As you can see, I, I burned the edges myself to make it look real old, and that's actually what I planned on doing with this map. But seeing now that it is uh, poster material. Uh, I won't be doing that. I mean, I could probably do it, but I don't think it would look as good. So, there's the map. Here is the inside of the case. It's actually one of the images that they uh, have been pushing for a while. Now you can see the it's uh, kind of embroidered through there, but there's the back of the case. We got the image in there as well. And now I'm going to pull out Moloch Ball for you guys to see. 
Now I did take a little bit of assembly to get the character together, but you can see this is a very high detailed statue compared to many of the other statues that have been in past collector's editions with many other games. Uh, one of the statues that I got in a collector's edition that I was not happy with at all was actually the God of War Ascension collector's edition. It came with a statue, it was a hundred dollar statue uh, or a $100 collector's edition and it beyond no I'm sorry it was a $79 collector's edition and it was probably one of the worst statues I had seen quality wise um, for a quote unquote collector's edition but you can see the mace right there looks really really awesome you can see very good detail on the character up here as well um, <laughs> I'm very highly impressed with the detail of this statue. Now I've actually seen this statue unboxed on certain videos before. Um, you know, we go to QuakeCon every year, so we've seen a few things here and there. Um, but uh, it just looks so good, man. It looks so good. And like I said, the tail uh, was actually something that you had to put on itself and then you had to connect him to the rock base. But for a $100 collector's edition, this is a fantastic statue. So I really hope you guys, uh, if you if you were on the if you were on the fence about getting it, uh, definitely try if you can. If you can find it on eBay or anywhere else, maybe they'll release it on uh, Bethesda's website eventually. Uh, but you definitely need to get this and add it to your collection. So now we're gonna look at the leather-bound art book. All right, guys. Now this is more than just an art book, uh, and I forgot to mention it. It's actually a, a scholar's book. There's a few little scuffs like this right here on the front of it. Now I don't know if that's something that I could wipe off. Hopefully it is, but it's a little. It's like a leather-bound scholar's book, and this this book is basically like a, a book from a scholar that was going around uh, and. Uh, giving a guide to Tamriel and this is the improved guide of Tamriel and I'm, I'm sure most of you Elder Scroll fans out there actually uh, looked at the official unboxing of this uh, previously whenever Bethesda released it uh, but it's still just like it's so fantastic like it looks really really good and it looks like something that a scholar would uh, write. He has the pictures and the drawings, uh, you know, talking about the different characters as well, uh, or the enemies that you will find throughout uh, the Tamriel uh, lands. And it, <laughs> I know some of you guys are like, what the hell is he talking about? He's not making any sense. But uh, it just looks awesome, dude. And I know my wife, she is one that really, really loves lore. She loved looking through the Skyrim Collector's Edition art book, um, and because it had a lot of different, you know, pictures and information about characters, uh, and this is going to be perfect for her to look at uh, and and just love to. This is something I definitely could see myself going back through and looking while I play Elder Scrolls Online, and uh, it's just exciting, dude. Like it's really, really exciting to see uh, that they came out with, with such a beautiful, uh, <laughs> with such a beautiful, I'm gonna say art book, beautiful description art book. Uh, and that's basically what it is. You know, I know that they, they push it as like a, a book for, you know, it's a scholar's book of talking about Tamriel and, and its history and, you know, what to watch out for and so on and so forth. But it just looks really awesome. Look at that picture right there, dude. Man, dude, I am just, I'm blown away by it. I'm really, really blown away by it. So, like I was saying, guys, this is a fantastic collector's edition, Imperial edition. Um, there is no game subscription required to play Elder Scrolls Online. And uh, me and Dara, uh, we have played the beta, we played the alpha, we played some uh, early versions of this uh, while at QuakeCon trying the game out uh, for Second Opinion Productions and we have been in love with the game since we first played it and I'm ready to get in there and play it so I'm trying to wrap this up as quick as I can to, to go in there and start creating my character but hopefully you guys eventually if you get the chance and you see this at a cheaper price if maybe that's the reason why you wanted to wait 
Um, but uh, I definitely think you need to pick this up. For everything uh, that is in this, this is actually a big steal for me. Uh, only $100 for this fantastic collector's edition. Um, and uh, that's it, guys. I want to give big shout-outs to Zenimax and Bethesda. Uh, we'll be seeing you guys at QuakeCon 2015. Uh, shout-outs to everybody on our YouTube page that shows us the love and support week after week. Thank you, guys. Oh, my voice is great. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching my unboxing of the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited Edition. Peace out.